Well, listen, friends, and you shall hear a story of when death came near to a short, stout Cajun who made the mistake of being near a flying snake. <laughs> Folks, I gotta tell you this story. So, about a year or so ago, I was supervising a uh, levy armoring job in, in Orleans Parish up here. And just kind of give you a quick down and dirty of that. You know, we basically lift the levy with some, with some extra dirt, cover it with an erosion cloth, cover that with sod, and then put in an irrigation system behind the side. So that, that kind of sets the stage for what you need to know. Well, one day I'm out there and I'm dealing with the fabric crew up there and I get this call from my lead irrigation guy, this little short stout, to be kind, uh, gentleman of Cajun descent. <laughs> he really is a great guy. We'll call him Boudreaux to protect his innocence. Well, Boudreaux, he calls me up and he says, Mr. Jake, I need you to come down here. We got a problem. Okay. So I come down and we solve that little problem he had with the irrigation and I'm getting ready to leave. And he says, well, before you leave, he said, we got another problem. I said, well, what's that? He said, there's a snake right over there, right, right where we need to be working at. So we need to get rid of that snake. <laughs> Boudreaux didn't like snakes. Uh, come to think of it, nobody on them crews likes snakes. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. I go over and I see it's this black looking snake. Here I am, I think it's a water snake. So I just reach down and grab this snake up by the tail and pick him up. Well, I got that snake about nose level and I guess the wind shifted and I get this whiff of this snake. Look down at him and see that the very distinctive head that he has and realize that I have a handful of none other than a cotton mouth moccasin. <laughs> well, <laughs> not wanting to take any chances, I dropped that cotton mouth moccasin like a hot potato right back on that side and jumped back pretty quick. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, how am I going to get this snake out of the work area <laughs> without, without getting bit by this thing and also without doing any damage to the snake? Because the one thing I didn't tell you is right beside this levee job is a federal wildlife reserve. And uh, the rules on this job is thou shalt not molest or hurt <laughs> any critters you might come across. So here I am, I got this dilemma. Got a very poisonous snake in the middle of a work area. Gotta get him out without me getting bit by this thing. Anybody else get bit by this thing and making sure the snake is safe. So I look around and I see there's this little paint sprayer there. This magic kind of a long thing on one end of it. It has a a little can of spray paint and on the other end it has this handle that's somewhat shaped like a hook. So I get this idea in my head, okay, I'll just use this hook and I'll be able to kind of flip the snake off of the hook and then we'll flip them across over the fence into the safe area. Bada bing, bada boom, everybody's happy including the snake. So here I go, taking this little paint sprayer and I take that snake and I get him in that handle and I kind of flip him off and he'd go about five or ten feet and I'd grab him again and flip him off and he'd go another five or ten feet well about the third time I got hold of this snake with that handle I must have got hold of him just right and I tell you what went to flip that snake and no sooner had I done that I realized that I had sent this snake airborne this cotton mouth moccasin is fully airborne at least 20, 25 feet in the air. And to top it all, he's headed straight. I mean straight for Boudreaux's head. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, I didn't know Boudreaux could get that much body 
moving that fast, that quick. And to top it off, words are coming out of, out of this coon ass's mouth that I have never heard. I think they were French, but had they come out in English, I'm pretty sure Boudreaux would have been hunting a new job. <laughs> funniest thing I ever seen. So that, my friends, is a story of the flying snake meets Boudreaux. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Hang in there.